Yes, a uh, few days ago, I received uh, some uh, items from the governor and the wife, and I was encouraged, you know, to see how I can reach more people. Then I have to, to the grace of God, get more of these bags of beans and rice and all the items here so that uh, by tomorrow I should have invited the, this community and those within these houses to come for uh, a share of what the Lord has given to me. Yeah. Tomorrow by 10 a.m. we expect to begin to give out all these items. We have to give them to all those who will come here. I think we are making an estimate of about uh, 1,000 above to get a full pack and uh, we are doing it in a way that is like giving them um, seven square meals and making it that way so you have beans, you have rice, you have indomie, as you can see you have onions, oil, mangoes, salt, just a full pack that they will go with. Yes, the, the, the point is this, when you say the widows, we have rich widows. When you say the orphans, we have rich orphans. You know, there, there, there should be definition of terms and you know, explanation of things. But what I'm trying to do here, I have just opened the door. And my invitation is all those who need help. Now, when you say the widows should come, anybody who is a widow is qualified to be there. So if the states really want to help the need the needy in the society let them define their terms very well you know i may be a widower but i'm very comfortable and rich but when you say you need widowers i'll be there so you say uh, and also you say that the government has brought food for these people for our community everybody should want, want to share <laughs> but when you say this food is for those who are poor like you know in our dialect we say obenye obenye if you interpret very well it means so people who are actually uh, in need, people who have been supported. There are people in Owanta here, where I come from, who are poor and are being supported. Of which, if you, PMTV, should go and say, where are the poor people in this community? They will tell you, this person, this person, this person. So you say, I've come for the poor, like Jesus Christ will say. I have come to give the good news to the poor. Now, there are poor people there. So my invitation today is, first of all, for the people of Owanta, where I come from. So I'm expecting rich people to come. This is what I've done. And also respecting those who may not be very rich to come. I also expect those who are very poor to come because I have had to do this for my own community irrespective of their status. You get what I mean? Now, if I want to give food to the poor, the real poor people, it is they in the community here who will tell me, this woman is poor, this woman is poor. So that's why there's crisis everywhere. For them, government is giving food to all. <laughs> so everybody's there grumbling for fighting over the food. The appearances of people may not be telling their status. You get my point. Someone so, can be looking harder and have 10 million in his account. God bless you. <laughs> and then somebody can be looking well polished, but he has no cup of rice, no cup of beans. So it is actually difficult. And conscious of the fact that in our society today, the consciences of man, nobody can dictate it. There's a lot of, a lot of cosmetic lifestyle. So, but you, our duty is to play our own role and leave the rest for God. Like personally now, tomorrow now, I'm not going to put a police at the gate here to start checking. Okay, you go, you are poor. You go, you are rich. Father Dibia is going to feed the poor. Come and pick something if you need it. It's open. Now, the truth of the matter is this. I know I have done this. I've been doing this. Some of them are coming because, oh, it's Father Dibia's food. <laughs> Miracle food. So, <laughs> even those who have one bag of rice at home, we tell you, hmm, Father Dibia own. He carried blessing, you know, so, and that is faith. And somebody may be sick of one disease or the other and has faith that if I eat this food that Father Dibia has blessed, I will be, it has happened, it's happening. So at that point in time, I will not be too rigid. That is why I've made extra provisions. You know, I have to bring more. And by the grace of God, when they share it and I see how the turnout is coming up, I will make a phone call. Please, can you bring me 10 more bags of rice? 10 more, I will do that. 
Yes, because I know that I'm a channel. I'm a channel of grace. <laughs> I'm a channel of grace. The, 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 the governor sent this rice and then those were packed rice and beans, you know, just rice and beans. And, uh, and I said, no, I can't eat it alone. And if I want to share it, it won't get to enough people. Because when they say Father Libya wants to share, give out food, the number will be times. <laughs> you will see that tomorrow. I believe you'll be here. Even today, I must confess, this morning, people are already coming. And of course, you see those who came, they are poor. It's obvious, these poor women. And I said, please, Mama, it's tomorrow. Mama, tomorrow. You get a point. Now, the, when the governor sent the, the rice there, and then this beans here. So I now said, wow, this is uh, wonderful. And I was encouraged. It, it, it acted as a catalyst. It motivated me to now say, okay, now let me do that which I love doing. I sincerely love giving. And I had to get these bags of rice, bags of beans. And I said, okay, I also believe that when you give somebody beans, how would they cook it? You know, uh, if you give somebody rice, what would they do with it again, you know? Because we may not understand that. Yeah. Nobody can just put beans and begin to eat. I have to make provision for the some ingredients that they will use to cook it. So no matter how small you can prepare as, get, as soon as you get home, that's what I've done. Okay, so what are your words of advice for those that will be coming around tomorrow? Yeah, let them, let them be happy. Be happy that at least God has touched the minds of so many Nigerians to offer them gift. I want to express my displeasure on some of the people who were very ungrateful on the social media. You know, I feel that they are very ungrateful. You see them carrying uh, a cup of I don't think it's necessary. You know, whatever you are giving, appreciate God. Thank God that you are even given. Even though you have one cup, there are some who could not even have one cup. So I pray that those who will come here, sincerely speaking, we please, I still appreciate my widow's might. You get my point? Because it has actually put fear in me when I see the way people complain. So the governor give us, I don't think it is okay. If you are giving two uh, um, packs of Indomie, 10 packs of Indomie, one cup of rice, one cup of gari. Don't begin to insult the government, begin to insult the givers. I don't think it's nice. You know, in as much as we know that some people are dishonest in hoarding what they were given to share. But whatever that gets to you, appreciate God and thank God for the little that you have been able to get. So my prayer for those and my advice for those who will come, because I actually flashed it online that they should come, you know, to those who are in this houses. Let them just appreciate whatever they are given. Let them appreciate it. Thank God for, for touching my heart to give and thank God for those who supported me and through them I'm able to do what I'm doing. That is what I will beg them. And finally, um, with God, all things are possible, but uh, we have to do our best and leave the rest. Okay, following the outbreak of this COVID-19, God has been helpful in data state. But what are your word of advice for the people on taking a precautionary measure? Yes, um, uh, I've said it before, and I will say it again, that obedience is a weapon that we'll use to win this battle. Number one is obedience. The state and the government and the medical practitioners have instructed us. You know, when you don't follow instruction, you get destruction. So they've instructed us to do this, do that, avoid this, this, we must obey them. And then if there's anything that will make us not to stay or behave the way they've asked us, we must do anything we want to do in a way that we do not fall victims of circumstance. For instance, they say stay at home. That you are now hungry, you want to go and eat, okay? You can still quietly move without moving as a crowd to go and cause confusion and make noise in the market and disobey. That's it. Obedience. It's all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's proceed. Your bags of beans and his bag of rice. Okay. A big bags of rice. Bags of rice. Okay. Bags of rice. And then this bag of beans. These are the ones the governor sent to me. Okay. There's bags of beans. And then the rice. Okay, this rice one. also. Okay. And this is cut of uh, Indomie noodles. Okay. Uh, this is cut of Indomie noodles. Then. Okay. Indomie noodles. Then this bags of rice. Okay. You know. Then bags of beans. Okay. So we have to increase the quantity of beans. Wow. Then this 
cartons of Indomie. Yes, many. Yes, many. many. Of Indomie. And then we have uh, bags of uh, onions. onions too. So yeah, because have to slice onions and then. You don't need to be. You put onions then. Okay. I have uh, have maggi here, mm. tomatoes, okay. red oil. Red oil. This red oil, red oil, tomatoes, maggi, okay. and then okay. salt. salt. And of course, I know that the number may surprise me. I have to get more. More bags of peas. I'll, I'll not be surprised if people will be uh, kind of um, interested in picking firewood around just the to book. make sure everything yes. is safe. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, yes. so bags of beans. Sir. Yes, we have bags of beans, bags of beans, and bags of beans. Enough, enough of them. Enough, enough of beans. Them. Enough. Yeah. So I I think today is going to be wash night. Yes, they're going to they're going to put them into bring that. Uh, we had this bag we have provided okay. we, because we, we don't want to start sharing them in their presence. Okay, okay. And then we want to still obey this uh, uh, distancing yeah, and social whatever distancing. social distance and whatever. You people so really have a lot we, of work to do. We have a lot of work to do. Okay. So we're going to get the other ones at the back there. So we're going to walk all through tonight. Okay. So we're going to pack them before they come into our dishes. We have about one thousand or something here. Okay. Now, the, what I have in mind is everybody who will come here, we have at least one full penta of beans. Yeah. It's not more than 20 cups of beans, and then penta of rice, okay. and then there must be indomie to be packed inside too. Then, then all these things sort will be packed inside. So we'll give you this. We expect you to have beans, rice, Onions. That's complete market. <laughs> <laughs> complete, complete shopping. Yes, complete shop. So you go, just go. Okay. Uh, if a wife, husband, yeah. and four kids yeah. come from the same home, yeah. what will I do? Good. The, the idea is you are talking about feeding an individual, yeah. not a family. Yeah. So all of them will have one one. Wow. If yeah. your wife is here mm. and your son is here, yeah. your daughter is there, and your yeah, husband is there, to one you are one. entitled to this so in other words uh, the, the idea is this i'm trying to do the mathematics you know that if i give you a cup of rice should be enough for a meal yeah so if i give you 20 cups of rice indirectly i'm giving you 20 meals yeah if i give you uh, a, a, a penta of beans it's also meal yeah. so at the end i'm thinking of when i would say i've given an individual yeah. 21 meals for yeah. one week so three, 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 then for 21, for seven days. So if you come, I give to you. Because if I give, I say, this is a father. The wife and the children should go away. Yes. And I give to the father alone. Yes. I have not fed the children. That's true. I've fed only the man. Yeah. So I don't think I'm satisfied with that. So I'm trying to look at this mathematics and see how. Well so, calculated. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I love the way you have structured it. Yes. And uh, that's a very good idea. Yeah, because even when uh, sometimes people don't appreciate, but without being told for this to be coming from you, you have really tried. We we'll really commend your effort. Thank you. The good Lord that has given you the opportunity, because I still call it an opportunity. Yes. Whenever you are in the direction or in a, uh, the angle of giving, is a blessing. Yeah. So may the Lord God who has given you that position bless you more and more abundantly amen thank you sir thank you i appreciate it thank you very much he's done so much for me i cannot tell it all Still wouldn't be enough.